Let us understand something about partner's capital account. Okay. So what happens here? First, let me tell you the concept. There is a firm and there is a partner. We are currently discussing about the accounting by the firm. These are treated as two different individual entities. A partner may contribute capital to the firm, which is his money. Right? And then there are certain expenses. Okay. Or let me not call this as expense. Then there are certain transactions which happen between the firm and the partner. Right? The first one being the firm may earn some profit or loss. Okay. The firm may pay interest on capital. Right? And it may earn interest on drawings. Then there could be additional capital which may be put in by the partner. So let's say the business requires some more money. So this guy puts in some more funds. Or it may be that he may withdraw capital. Okay. And he may also withdraw profits or interest income. Now let's get back to the basic stuff. The firm insofar as this partner is concerned has to record all these transactions in its books of accounts. And we know that when the money comes in the account which is used is the capital account. Right? Now, what can happen is that if you start doing all these entries in the capital account, it may become really very cumbersome. Okay? So, what do we do? There are two methods. One, the firm agrees that, okay, we have the capital account. These transactions may actually not be very significant. Maybe some one of them might occur, some may not occur. So they maintain a fluctuating capital account. Now what does this mean? In a fluctuating capital account, what happens is that the capital account would be made and all these entries will be posted on the debit, there will be obviously a balance which might be there by balance brought down. And then all these entries will be made in this very same account. Okay? So this account, the balance of this account will keep on fluctuating from time to time. And that's what the name suggests, fluctuating capital account. So the capital balance keeps on fluctuating. You have an opening balance, any transaction out of these six happen or maybe even some more transactions which might have some impact on the capital account, they are taken directly to this particular account. This is what a fluctuating capital account is all about. Whereas in a fixed capital account situation, what happens is you have a buy balance brought down. All these routine entries in terms of profit and loss, interest on capital, interest on drawings are basically rooted through a separate account called partners current account. So instead of posting these entries here, these are posted here. The fixed capital account which is there is only used for additional capital which is, let me just mark it out in red. 
So if let's say he brings some more capital into the firm, which comes in here by cash, it's added here. Or if he withdraws some capital, so you make an entry here to cash account. Okay. So normally the capital account will remain fixed unless there is some additional capital which comes in or some capital which goes out. All the routine entries of profit and loss of interest of drawings on earning and drawings etc. are passed through the partner's current account. Okay. So that's the difference between these two. We'll take one example each on fixed and fluctuating capital in the next videos.